So friends, in our MU class for MEP orals, there are some questions asked on the topic called reciprocating pump. So I have covered all the questions related to this topic. So the questions are as follows: Briefing about reciprocating pump and types, function of air vessel, and the overhauling of this pump is asked in many ways, like overhauling of reciprocating pump, overhauling of bilge pump, overhauling of bucket ring pump, and checks at the overall. So first, I will tell you about what is reciprocating pump. So a reciprocating pump is a positive displacement pump, one which works on principle of reversing piston motion within a cylinder drawing in liquid during forward stroke and delivering it under pressure during return or backward stroke. Reciprocating pump generally operates at low speeds and it is coupled to an electric motor with gear or V-belt. The reciprocating pump is best suited for relatively small flow rate and high heads. and it is used on ships as bilge pump for OWS because of not having churning effect so this is the reason why we don't use the centrifugal pump on the OWS because they provide us churning effect now i will brief you about single acting reciprocating pump so in this type of pump the piston is in contact with water from one side and every stroke there may be suction or delivery will take place so this type of pump consists of cylinder piston connecting rod crank suction valve delivery valve as in figure you can see piston is connected with piston rod and a cross head is connected with the connecting rod and then to the motor with the help of gear or v belt so in this figure i have given you a basic idea of a reciprocating pump so as you can see a is for motor b for gear c for seal d for piston e for solvent in f for check valves g for solvent valve So here F is suction and delivery valve and this solvent is the water or the liquid which we are pumping with the help of reciprocating pump. Now I will show you a basic video for this pump. So as you can see suction and discharge is taking place due to the reciprocating motion of the piston which is connected with the help of piston and connecting rod to the crankshaft which is rotated by a motor. Now moving towards our second type of reciprocating pump double acting reciprocating pump so in this type of pump piston comes in contact with water from both sides so a double acting reciprocating pump each stroke of the piston carries out both the functions suction as well as delivery thus it requires two suction pipes and two delivery pipes for double acting pump when there is a suction stroke on one side of the piston there is at the same time a delivery stroke on the other side of the piston thus for one complete revolution of the crank there are two delivery strokes as you can see in the diagram there are two suction and two discharge valve and a air vessel is connected to the discharge side of the pump so sometime in our mmd orals a question is asked the function of air vessel so an air vessel usually fitted in the discharge pipe work to dampen out the pressure variation during discharge as the discharge pressure rises the air is compressed in the vessel and as the pressure falls the air expands the peak pressure energy is thus stored in the air and returned to the system when pressure falls so in the graph you can see without air vessel and with air vessel the effect of air chamber or the air vessel you can see easily in the graph that the graph without air vessel is having more fluctuation than the graph with the air vessel so basically this air vessel controls the fluctuation in the discharge side of the pump moving towards our most important question for our mmd oral reciprocating pump overall so this question is asked in many ways like bilge pump overall bucket ring pump overall or reciprocating pump overall so this question was asked to my friend and he answered that first we will isolate the pump by isolating the electrical connection shut inlet outlet valve loosen the motor and pump holding bolts open ball casing bolts and remove valve assembly remove cylinder head remove gland packing loosen cross head to pull out piston with piston rod after disconnecting it from connecting rod check for damage and replace with spare and assemble so he answered this much and the surveyor accepted this answer so now i will tell you what checks we have to do on the pump after overhaul So this was the cross question asked to him after he explained overhauling of a reciprocating pump. So for the check he told check for corrosion and pitting on each parts of the pump, check condition of seat, wall plate and spring and renew the parts which are damaged, 
चेक लाइनर फ्रॉम इन साइड फॉर वियर एंड इरोजन रिन्यू पिस्टन रिंग और बकेट रिंग एंड ही टोल्ड द मटीरियल ब्रास और पेक लाइट and don't get confused about this bucket ring it is the piston ring which is mounted on the piston so surveyor will confuse you so i am telling you don't get confused and friends if this video was helpful for you please like and subscribe marine help port